another episode of Adventure People and Places as we find a wheelchair accessible hike, Karin hikes up to a glacier and we keep on traveling down the Karatera Ostal and we visit a fascinating place, the Marble Caves. Let's go! Morning and it's time to go and see if there is a wheelchair accessible hike here in the park with the difficult name to pronounce. Um, there's a rumor that there is a short hike available. Um, so I will join Corinne for the first few hundred meters and see what I can see. Let's, let's go and have a look. So yes, the rumors were true. There is a short wheelchair accessible walk with great views of the mountains in the distance, great fauna, sorry, great flora, and quite a few very informative boards. It's an amazing place. So today we're doing the Jalco National Park hike to the glacier, the Jalco glacier. Look at my nice steps. Oh, I'm quite stiff from the Shaitan volcano oh, walk, all the thousands of steps. This one is actually quite flat and it's only three kilometer back of, um, to the in and then three back so six kilometers in total um yeah again beautiful forest the only difference i can actually see is no mushrooms apart from that lush and green and it's such a pleasure to be able to to walk at the lower altitude and not hanging on to thin air and that is obviously also a difference in the vegetation because here <clears throat> it's warmer and lower not that much warmer but yeah lush and green and then you get your occasional volcano and glacier really a privilege to be able to visit Patagonia look how green it is this is a flat walk anybody can do it um, and the infrastructure are quite new um, Louis managed it to the second viewpoint which is about I would say 400 meters um, but he turned around now because there are a few <laughs> interferences Ooh. oh I'm so stuck okay let's go and have a look at the glacier always surprised at how white or blue the water is that comes from the glacier Ooh. Yeah, it's pretty fresh. Tastes great, but is cold. The informative board here. They show you how glaciers are formed. Scent reduction up to 2014. So how many years was that? 44 years. And then up to here, this is where we are now. And this is Planet Ice Retreat. Five, then there was a 20% reduction worldwide. Up to 2005, and now we are here. Okay. We've reached the end of the trail, and there is the glacier. This is a hanging glacier because there's two mountains next, or it's lying between two mountains, so it's basically hanging in the valley of the mountains. You can see it's a little bit blue. You focus on that, and there's still a little bit. And then if I move a bit down, there's a river. And then, then this ends into the big river here, the valley. Oh, this is awesome.
snow-capped mountains. Nice easy walk. Look at the blue. Wow. Look at how amazing this is. I can count at least 10 different types of ferns and moss growing on the trees. It's so lush and so beautiful. Huh? Oh. Then we hit the road heading further south. The day was as overcast with the sun peeking out every now and then as we followed the mountain south. This was such a spectacular drive. We crossed a lot of rivers, some over orange painted suspension bridges. Some of the bridges were single lane, so you had to keep an eye out for oncoming trucks before you crossed. We stopped in a town called Punyawapi for a well-deserved hot shower, and I could even find a bath, which is very rare in campsites in South America. Punduyapi is a quiet little town on the edge of a lake where we could pick up some supplies as well before we hit the road again. Heading to another hike for Karin at Park Nacional Quela. We found a wild camp spot right outside the park so we could get up early and Karin could start a hike as early as possible the next morning. It's another day and it's another hike for Karin. Today we are at Venta Square called Gate, um, where there is a hanging glacier. Eh? A hanging glacier. Not officially a wheelchair accessible hike, but at least they are building one over there. If you hear that angle grinder going, there is wheelchair parking and they are building a walkway. So uh, maybe next time when we come back. Um, yeah, so I'll see how far I can get. Don't think I'm gonna get more than a few hundred meters, but yeah. Um, at least I hope to be able to see the glacier in the distance. And Karin's gonna go and see if she can touch the glacier and bring me back some ice. Are you ready to go? I'm gonna take the whiskey with me. So let's see how it goes. Nobody wants to do the bridge first. First, but I must push him up, baby. Do you want to take a picture of him? No, you, we, we're talking about the worst part of this. I'm going to drink because I was pushing. I think I'm alone. Uh, yes, I think yes. It's nice moving. Yes. I, 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 I want to see how it moves. Sprung out. I made it over the bridge after Karin checked the stability. The scenery of the rushing water, river and mountain views blew our minds. There was a lot of steps, so I did not get very far before I had to turn around and Karin continued on the hike. Okay. You can pass? Yeah. Okay. See you later. <laughs> Okay, so I'm doing the first stretch of the walk uh, through the forest. I think they call it the Enchanted Forest and it's really pretty. Um, it looks like the candy fairies here. Um, there are a lot of pumas in the mountains allegedly, um, but obviously they're very shy. Okay, Ooh. onwards. Looks like we are pretty much done with the steps. It's all kind of level now, probably on the hilltop. And just walking along. I think I've done already just have a kilometer and a half. So still two and a half to go. Show you 
all the small ferns here. So this is a little walkway. And just look at this. I hope I can zoom in. This is on the handle. Huh? This is, I mean, this is my finger. Pretty cool, huh? All around. Huh, nice. Um, this is amazing. Glacier. It's, there's quite a few people, but yeah, you can actually see the blue of the glacier. Um, yeah, and then it ends up in a lake down here. But yeah, very congested. Mucho sombre. This is a bit of a photographic photo shoot shock. Um, so many people, so many selfies. Ooh. Have to get the shot right. Um, but yeah, the biggest glacier so far, I think the ones in Peru were further away. Maybe just as big, but further away. So we are getting closer and closer to the big boys. Um, I think this is going to be my last hike before we take on going a bit more south and then we're going to the marble caves, which I'm also looking forward to a lot. Um, but yeah, this is really a very pretty forest. Um, I can just imagine that all the little animals are just a few meters away from us. But there's so many feet coming along. No, it also not be in the, in the way. There's ferns only growing on this side of the tree. I think it should be south. Huh? Nice. And our journey down the Carretera Austral continues. Karin's done three or four hikes. So she's taking a little bit of a break from the hikes. Um, and um, we've noticed quite a change since last night. The weather, um, the, the temperature at night has dropped. It was very cold this morning when we slowly got out of bed. And the trees are getting smaller. There's still a lot of very beautiful wildflowers all along the road. Um, and there's less snow on the peaks around the road, but there's quite a lot of snow further up in the mountains. Looks like higher. Looks like laser type. Look at the mountains over there. They're like different, they're tiny rainbow mountains. Yes. Yeah, so any tips for people coming to hike? Um, to the glaciers or the different hikes along the Carretera Austral? First do your homework and read about the hikes. The first one I did um, I, it was a lot of steps, a lot of climbing so I got extremely stiff from that and then I think the most important tip is to check the weather uh, because it can rain one day and the next day it's uh, uh, clear. Hike in the morning if you go to a glacier, most of them are on the, they're not that visible in the um, afternoon. I think they said some of them have a cloud over it. it always take a break, even if it doesn't make it that far. Take snacks. Take snacks. Yes. And water. Yeah, yeah, the water, I had a water camera and then a nice backpack and good shoes, but you don't need, you don't need very busy late in the morning so we tried to wild camp as close to the hikes or at the start of the hike um, if possible because we're not that fast in the mornings so Karin could get up and go for the hike earlier um, the hike yesterday um, I think from about 10 or even 11 big big tour groups arrived so then it was very crowded so everybody with their walking sticks <laughs> yeah so if you want um, the place to yourself or less people the early bird gets us the gets the non-selfie view. view yeah 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 and now we're on our way to the marble okay, what kind Capija, Capija e Catedral de Marmol, 
bitter, bitter known as the as the marble caves in English, the blue rocks. We are heading to a small place called Puerto Sanchez, and tomorrow we hope to do a tour with a boat. But we've still got a little bit of driving today. Today's our longest drive in a while. It's like 300 kilometers. Yeah. So let's go, and we will keep taking you along on the adventure. And a very good morning, and it's time for coffee. But let's first see what view we have. Did you sleep well, honey? Yes, I did. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, oh I locked my, I locked myself. Oh, you locked the door. <laughs> Luckily, I locked the door while we were well camping. <laughs> We have arrived in the small sleepy town of Puerto Sanchez and we are ready to embark on the tour to the world famous marble caves. Let's jump on a small boat. Are you excited? Yes. So let's go. This was a very touristy event but something we've been looking forward to for a long time. We jumped on a boat with six more tourists and after a short ride arrived at abandoned transport ships that used to transport goods across Lake General Carrera. There were two abandoned ships and one that had sunk very long ago. Then we headed to the marble caves. These caves were formed by water corroding the softer minerals in the land and the harder marble stayed behind with its spectacular textures, colors and shapes. After touring the caves on a boat, you could jump off and take a short walk into the caves. <laughs> Lots of voices. Um, we just did our okay. in the marble caves, and yeah, it's really. Um, we took the boat ride, but it's nice to walk in it as well. It's very cold, and then here you can just see again the the little dents that um, that's in the like an. On all the rock formations, it's actually yeah, very special. Um, it was a dark, dark, narrow alleyway that we walked through, but we made it. You can see all the confused people. Relief, not confused, relief. Our last stop was the marble cathedral and spectacular sight before we headed back to the shore. And this is where we have to end this episode. In our next episode, we leave the Carretera Austral and head into Argentina to visit the Cave of the Hands and a massive glacier at Perito Moreno, an experience we would never forget. That's the story for another time. Please head over to patreon.com forward slash fearless on four wheels to subscribe and get these videos first and view them ad free. Or like and subscribe this video to support our channel. Thank you for watching.